Halo 3 has just been released on PC, but there is so much more that has been added to the MCC besides the game itself. In this video, we're going to give you the six essential features that will directly affect your gameplay experience in the MCC. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you our news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helped out the video and channel as a chance to get more people to see this video to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo. So let's get right into the content here. So I was planning a nice evening of playing Halo 3 on stream and making content on the 14th, but uh... 343 decided to just shadow release Halo 3 on the night of the 13th and so that kind of just threw my plans out the window for what I was going to do for that evening but I got and played it a bunch guys I streamed it for like four hours the stream was excitingly awesome really appreciate the support on the stream guys and it was a ton of fun we just played the multiplayer and there's so much more that also play out and experience with this game and i'll tell you that it's awesome it works it plays super well it's the shining gem of the mcc right now on pc so i definitely would suggest you guys jump in and play it if you can but in this video i'm going to give you the six essential features you should know with the addition of halo 3 to the pc also keep in mind though all these different features have been brought over to the console as well so that all you xbox players will experience the same awesomeness as pc is right now so the first thing we're going to go into is forge forge has come to the pc which is now halo 3 halo 2 anniversary and halo reach all have forge on pc now i'm sure a lot of you xbox players are thinking yeah we've had forge whoop de freaking do for me but the great thing about that is that they've actually updated halo 3's forge that basically work the exact same way as halo reach's forge so there's there's physics that you can change with each object. So you don't have to do the crazy roundabout ways you had to do back in the classic days. You can just phase objects into it. You can rotate them now perfectly. It is super smooth, a super great experience. So the new features on Forge, including object physics, rotation, uh, coordinate snapping, and precise editing tools as well. And also for Halo 3 and Halo Reach, uh, the Forge palette of all the items you can forge with has been increased as well. So it's not just your grandpappy's Forge we had back on the 360 days. This is a new and improved Forge in the MCC. Very exciting stuff. Number two on this list is an updated season. We have a brand new season that came with Halo 3, the Spark season for season two, and they changed a lot of things on how the season progression works as well. So now you have a uh, non-linear unlock progression system where basically on each page of 10 you can unlock individual items however you want and then once you unlock all 10 items on that page then you can move on to the next page unlock all 10 items however you want and rinse and repeat basically the new content that they've added in is very ce focused they have a bunch of new things like 30 new nameplates 46 halo 1 weapon skins and 18 Halo 1 vehicle skins on top of that as well. Not to mention also new visor colors for your Spartan on top of that. So with the new customization for Combat Evolved, I would think you would see a nice population surge for that game. So if Combat Evolved is your favorite game to play on the MCC, well, I'd expect to see a few more people playing it just because you got these awesome unlocks, you're going to want to play around with them. And trust me, CE is a ton of fun. I had my fun a lot when it was originally re released on PC. So keep an eye out for that as well, guys. And uh, we'll definitely be doing a video breaking down all the different kinds of content that's within it as well as we did in a previous video. But I think the chance to see all the... Uh, uh, skins and stuff in action is gonna be really fun. Number three on the awesome features added into the MCC with Halo 3's release the challenge system. Now, it was added into Halo 2, technically, yes, but now they've added in a UI, they've added in uh, re reasons to unlock things, like you get uh, different seasonal points for completing certain challenges, you can get uh, unlocks for completing certain challenges, like the Acrophobia Skull, which we'll get into later in this video. Uh, more XP, season points, all that good stuff can be unlocked through challenges. And it's a really good variety of weekly uh, PvE and PvP challenges challenges as well as seasonal challenge on top of that so a good reason why to hop in every day play mcc and just unlock awesome stuff that's within this game it's super cool i'm really glad they added this in it's going to give a lot more longevity i certainly will be releasing tips and trick videos on how to unlock certain uh, abilities or certain kinds of challenges with 
within the MCC if some more particular than others I would need to require to um, you know maybe figure out the most efficient way to go about doing things. Number four is an updated skill ranking on the back end of ranked matchmaking. So that what has happened is basically that the old system had essentially like it was a lot of cobwebs holes it was kind of a messy system basically and now what they've done they've replaced it with a new system that's much more efficient and much more easier to work with and update in case needed though needing to do this update has meant it that all your ranks within the mcc have been set back down to one so all your competitive skill ranks are set back down to one to ease the confusion there is no resetting of your xp rank that's the exact same no problem there whatsoever but your competitive skill rank has all been set back down to one cool new addition though with this is they have a highest lifetime score now so oftentimes with the mcc since each playlist has its own rank that it's kind of tough to judge how good a player really is you might come across and so say if you're right now in halo 5 halo 3 i'm ranking up and then uh, you see me on like level five, but in Reach, I got up to level 23 on that one. So you kind of get a sense of who you're playing against. It's a really nice addition to know like who you're playing against and just have your own personal high score, which is kind of like the idea of video games in a way, you know? So it's a really great feature I've seen added in. It's a shame ranks had to be reset, but honestly, I think having like a seasonal reset, honestly, in the MCC, I think it would be a lot of fun and give more people a reason to hop in, grind out the game and just keep that population up right there. Number five on this list is a very, very important immersion feature, and that is the updated audio for Halo 3 and Halo Reach. As we do know, uh, previously with Halo 3, it was really compressed and you know it really uh, clipped, which made it sound really distorted quite often. Halo Reach's audio just didn't sound the same. It either lacked its punch or its beefiness or just something was missing well they updated the audio now so you should have a tr more true experience to the legacy games in the mcca as you did previously so um, audio is a very important part of games especially with a shooter you want your guns to sound badass and awesome well now that's updated so it should be sounding well badass and awesome and number six on this list is the addition of the acrophobia skull now i did release a gameplay kind of showcasing all the great stuff about it essentially it adds a jetpack in it it breaks the game in just a really fun silly way I guarantee you, I've played around with it, it's a ton of fun, but the thing is, you have to unlock it in the MCC, and the way you unlock that is by defeating flying enemies in Halo 3's campaign or mission playlist to unlock the brand new Acrophobia Skull. You have to destroy 343 flying enemies. Yes, 343 flying enemies. Uh, we will be releasing a video later on showcasing the most effective way to go about doing this because you have to do it within Halo 3's campaign. And they're actually really not a whole lot of flying enemies, so there is one mission in particular I think you probably could all think about when it comes to unlocking the skull. So you guys, that's everything right now that you need to know when it comes to Halo 3's release on PC, guys. It's bringing so much great content to the MCC, so much more replayability. Halo 3 plays amazing on PC. It's the best game on MCC PC, without a doubt. The performance on it is fantastic. The unlimited frames is great. The hit detection, same thing as you had previously on console, but they are working on that right now. And so we're looking forward to see what kind of updates are coming for the game. I uh, will certainly let you guys know on this channel as well. So out of this entire list, the one thing I am most excited about when it comes to Halo 3's release onto the MCC for PC, or just the MCC update for Halo 3 in general, would have to be the challenge system. It's so in-depth, so much content within that. It just, it really helps utilize everything that's within the MCC and give you a reason to actually jump in and play it. There's a lot more potential that 343 hasn't tapped yet when it comes to creating things for people to do in this game. There's so many times when I was playing the MCC, I was just like, well, what am I gonna do today? I don't know, I guess just shoot things for the hell of it, really. Putting in these challenges gives you more XP, gives you reasons why you want to play that so you can unlock your content faster in the season pass and get unlocked you know, items specifically for completing challenges like certain skins for weapons and a new skull as well for the MCC, which is pretty freaking awesome. So if you like this informational video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know when you see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you're excited about Halo 3 coming to PC. Is it just the game or all these 
these awesome new features? Let me know. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos. It'll be out of the loop for the last few days or so. so thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.